Crack open those sandwiches I got at the gas station. I'm so hungry I can eat a sandwich from a gas station. <laughs> There's one for everyone. Oh, Audrey, wake up, Aunt Edna. It's time for her to eat and take her pill. Please get off me. Mom, tell Audrey to quit pushing on Edna on me. I'm sick of her lying on me all the time. Be quiet. Annie. Honey, it's only a few hours to Phoenix. Let her be. She's fine. She's not fine. She's fine. Don't be silly. She's not fine, Clark. She's dead. <laughs> She breathed on me, a dead person breathed! Oh, her hand touched me, she's still deaf already! Oh. God damn it anyway! She must have passed away somewhere near Flagstaff. What are we going to do, Clark? Well, we could leave her here in the first phone we pass. We could call your cousin Normie, and he could come and get her, I guess. That's the meanest, coldest. Well, what do you want me to do, call Federal Express? Mom, we don't have to ride with the dead person, do we? Please say we don't. Yeah, come on, Mom. It'd be real easy for cousin Normie to find her. All they have to do is look for the buzzards. Oh, hell, then we'll drive her to Cousin Normie's for Pete's sake. Just didn't want to get caught up in a funeral and inquest and all that crap. You are the most self-centered, egotistical, manipulative... Don't say anything you'll regret, Ellen. I'm only being practical. If we drove straight through, we'd have three days at Wally World at best. Three. She can't weigh more than 100 pounds. Oh, no! You can't put her up on that roof. Yes, he can. You want me to strap her to the hood? What's the difference? She'll be fine. It's not as if it's gonna rain or something. <laughs> 